Hello, there'll be a little bit of everything during this long Christmas weekend, but if you're hoping for a white Christmas, you're probably going to be out of luck. Having said that, it is going to turn colder once more by Boxing Day. Here's the bigger picture to start with low pressure systems across the UK. And this one in particular winding up and the isobars closing together. So it's going to get pretty windy through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then this weather front just mixes things up a little bit. Let's rewind the clock and look at the temperature profile. We're starting with mild conditions in the south, cold conditions further north. The mild air is going to win as this low comes in. But as this weather front swings back across the country late on Christmas Day, it reintroduces the colder air which spreads across all parts of the country by Boxing Day. So that's the bigger picture. Let's rewind once more and uh, take a look at each day individually. We, we are going to start with wet weather across northern Scotland and some snow on the hills. Rain showers over northern England, southern Scotland, northern Ireland and Wales. They'll tend to ease off through the day and much of southern England, eastern England may well be dry and bright on Christmas Eve with some sunny spells. Going to be gusty and blustery, particularly around western coast and especially so uh, close to the low pressure across northwest Scotland where the showers will be heavy and frequent. A very wet and windy spell here. Further south, as I said, it will be breezy, but with some sunshine, temperatures well above average, getting up to the teens, perhaps in one or two locations. So the milder air is winning out through Christmas Eve, and it'll be a mild Christmas day for most places. But it's then that this weather front late in the day starts to reintroduce the colder air. And we also need to keep our eyes on this little weather feature that may well make for a wet spell across parts of the southeast on the big day itself. So we'll have rain coming in from the northwest, rain spreading into the southeast. In between, we may well have a largely dry day, but it will be, I suspect, predominantly cloudy and still pretty blustery. For most places, it is going to be a mild Christmas day as well, with temperatures again above average and into double figures across much of the south, even further north. Eight or nine Celsius is above average for the time of year. But as we saw earlier, colder air is going to return as the winds start to switch direction across the northwest. And late in the day here, we may well see some snow showers coming in, making it a white Christmas here. Elsewhere, though, I think it will be a wet Christmas with uh, mild conditions persisting, at least until Christmas Day night, when we will start to see that colder air coming in for Boxing Day. So a much fresher feel to Boxing Day, and there will be more snow showers by then. Of course, Scotland, perhaps for Northern Ireland, Northern England, especially on the hills. And with gusty winds, those snow showers likely to be blowing around, and quite a bit of snow could build up through Boxing Day across Western Scotland. Further south, uh, a bright, blustery, colder feeling day, with many parts of England and Wales likely to stay dry, but it will be that much colder. Temperatures dropping by a number of degrees between Christmas Day and Boxing Day, and then it could turn frosty on Boxing Day night. As we go into Tuesday, bank holiday, we're then looking out west at another weather system, which may well then reintroduce the milder conditions and likely to bring more cloud and outbreaks of rain as these weather fronts approach. So as I said, chopping and changing quite a bit, plenty going on. If you've got travel plans, please do keep up to date with the very latest from the Met Office. Best way to do that, get our app, visit our website, or follow us across social media.